In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the hard drive from a Dell Optiplex 9020 all-in-one computer. There are four screws here that need to be taken off. pops off after taking those screws off. We'll go ahead. We got a couple screws we need to remove here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine as well. Then we have one screw back here. And then the best thing to do is when you pull the cable out, unplug the cables. You may want to use a flathead if you can't reach it with your fingers. Get it wires out of the way. Then you can just push backwards and then lift out. Make sure you unhook the wires and disconnect them. And there you go. This is the hard drive and I'm sure you could figure out the rest. You got screw there, screw here, there and there and it'll pop out uh, the hard drive here. This is a, a Seagate hard drive. Uh, just a normal size hard drive. It's not like a laptop hard drive. Um, just a normal desktop hard drive. So for those of you that um, want to see me put it back together, I'll go right ahead. So we got a couple grooves here. Well, actually, first we want to plug it in. Make sure you plug it in first. It'll be easier. Careful not to bend or break the contacts. 
There we go. And we'll just slide it in the groove and we push forward. Make sure all the cables go back in their little hooks because it is a very small area, compact area. We don't want to crush any of the cables as we put stuff back together. So make sure everything is put back in their little hooks as best as you can. Make sure none of the cables get pinched as you put this cover on. I'm using a torque level of uh, 9 on my drill in case anyone's asking or wants to know. Zoom out just a little bit. Right now we could put the cover back on. This takes a little bit of playing around with. It all snaps in. Kind of get it, got to give it a little bit of push to get them all in there. Okay, good. Now we want to screw these back in here, the speaker. Um, I recommend using a very low torque setting otherwise you may strip the, uh, the screw socket. Um, you may want to use a one or a two torque level. I found that out the, the hard way on one of these computers, so I'm just using a one to be safe. for the uh, stand. And for some reason, this specific computer only came with three screws for the stand. It's really supposed to have four. This guy must have been left out. Oh, gotta adjust my torque back to normal. cover. It snaps in there. And we lift it back up. And there you have it. That's how you uh, remove hard drive from a Dell Optiplex 9020 all-in-one computer.